welcome to my channel and welcome to a unboxing. This is a round. I just wanted to leave the plastic on just for a second. This is a round. You've got the red, pink um, color and band here. Label. Now on the front of these, I've pretty much found it to be consistent. There's a little air hole so that they can actually package these. It's really handy to be able to stick your tweezers into that air hole and rip down the package so that you can get this sleeve off. So I just thought I'll pass on the tip in case you haven't already found it. Because, you know, sometimes we can do things a certain way and, you know, you forget that there might be, I don't know, an easier or a different or something. All right, now. Magic picture. That is everything. Oh, smell the cardboard. All right, stats. It is 74 by 56, which is the the average middle size. Sorry, I'm going to take a sip of tea because it's fresh. That's a little bit tall, so that's good. All right, so it's a 74 by 56. I will get this bag open while I'm. Um, chatting with you and again there's one of those little air holes in this it stops it becoming a bubble basically um, and allows you to pack and get things in and get things out uh, it is a tuck pinson if I haven't already said that it is round it has one two ABs scanning as I usually do just to check if there are any in the middle there aren't Forgot to add 43 colors in this kit, two ABs, and there are the drills, and there's the discount code in there. But yeah, I tend to use the same. There's, there's a few knocking around. You can always go back through your old invoices and check what you've used previously. There is a standard take 10 on the website. There is 15% code frequently, and there is sometimes a 20% or there's sometimes a buy one, get one or get half price or whatever. So keep your eyes open for those um, little bit extra kind of codes. But the standard codes, they're everywhere. So they're on your shipping slip, those little white ones, those white dockets there. They are on the canvas, they're on that blue sheet, they're on the website, they're in the groups, uh, DAC, if you're a roomy sapphire diamond, you can join the VIP group and there are codes in there and there are codes in Mrs. Coffee's group, Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Rays. So, toolkit for a round is boring. It's boring as anything. Um, squishy pen, bags, wax and there is usually skinny multi-placer heads in there now I'm not going to show you because you should know what a toolkit looks like now if you want to see what is in a toolkit go to my very first video of 2021 of my diamond art club playlist uh, so you're looking for the first video in January and I actually go into the toolkit in that video all right, so you get your little tag here. That actually fits perfectly across the bottom of the box if you want to store them end on so that you just see what's in the box. They are perfect for that. Or use them in a journal or anything else. Now I did hear there's some fun things happening with the new stickers. These label sheets, they're actually making them so that these are all cut out. So you're basically just pulling these bits off to put on your kits. So exciting. Uh, really, really cool that they are listening to their customers because these sheets are so good. You know, I haven't pulled my Zyron out for nearly a year because of DAC pulling out these babies. And I just use my paper cutter, cut them into shreds, cut them into um, lines across with the scissors and kit up. And they come off quite easily from my containers. Now I don't use the numbers anymore because what I'm doing is leaving the 1 to 60 on my actual containers um, when I've de-kitted. So yeah, that's been resting on my lap. I'm going to open up these drills and then we'll have a look at what is where on the kit. Alright, now it might be obvious 
and I may not have mentioned this. This is Simple Country by Chuck Pinson. I may have forgotten to say what the name was. Isn't it gorgeous though? Look, I mean, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, now his blurb is Swing in the afternoon breeze as the songs of spring cascade through your hair with two feline friends at your side. There is nothing more relaxing than living the simply country life or the simple country life even. Now, when I was just on the website, I was flashing between the painting by Chuck and then the rendering by Diamond Art Club. I'm going to do that here, just in the thing, while I'm briefly chatting. You can see how some of the fine lines on the painting are thickened with the rendering, with the um, drills. So that comes down to, again, the pixel width. Okay, so the fine lines you lose because it's not backstitch anymore from a cross stitch point of view because that's where the diamond painting comes from. So your lines fatten up. So some of the lines on the house fatten up. Some of the differences with the tree changes and the cat's head is a little bit bigger just to allow it to have a head. Um, so yeah, just a couple of uh, what I thought was fairly interesting points. Now, we've got two ABs there, our number one and number two. Uh, so one is the yellow leaves, which is fairly normal for what DAC uses, 135. So it's scattered up here in the leaves um, and just through the, the tree here. Uh, but where is number two? Number two is blue. Blue. Um, blue. Blue. It's like blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. Um, yeah, because it's here in the bush. What is that? Oh, it is. It's um. Oh. It might not be this plant. We had a plant in my garden when I was a kid that had these blue, blue flowers. Um, it was big and it was dark green and it stank. It was horrible, I hated it, but it had blue flowers. Little, little tiny blue flower kind of tufts. And that's what these remind me of. I don't know what other bushes would have those blue flowers on them. Please tell me what they might be. Um, cause it's, it could be a US only, um, rather than a Irish or anything else, but that's kind of it for the blue. So hmm, not many. All right. If you want to embellish, oh, there's all the ones down here in the grass. That's cool. So lots and lots of yellow ABs. Cause I saw the big bag. Um, the yellowy kind of green, it's a weird kind of color. It's kind of like a highlighter color. Um, but that's really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know that I would want to do much more. It's up, oops, time butterfly flying away. Um, so it's all up on the left and it's all down the bottom. I don't know that you would need to further embellish over on the house because it's cream. So it's not, you're not going to get the, the true white. So I don't, yeah, I don't know that I would fancy this up anymore. All right, let me fold this. Get it out of the way and show you the drills. <laughs> That's the average size. Goodness. Dear me. Uh, now, drills. We will show you in the correct tail. Um, sorry, my mouse moved and did a thing. All right. So, we have the beigey brown 3860. We have 739, which is a cream. 832, which is your kind of yellow brown, kind of like baby poo. Uh, 937, two of those in the mm, murky green. 337, only one of those in the black brown. 898 in the brown, and 890 in the dark, dark green. Next, we have 3782, which is a mushroomy beige with a next door neighbor playing. 3346, we've got two of those in the green. Matches my hoodie that I've got on. 3347, which is the next 
tone to it. Uh, 938, we've got one, two of those in the brown. Fence, tree, maybe you know, too dark for the roof. 935, we've got two of those in the dark, dark green. That would be bushes and those trees over on that side. The evergreen. 932 in a muddy green. It, it's reasonably bland, this picture. 3024, which is a grey, pale grey. 3861, which is your kind of pinky mushroom. 779, which is a reddish brown. Two of those. 939, you've got some navy, so not the ABs, but could be in where the ABs are. You know what? That purple bush over to this side here, you could consider putting some ABs in. I'll find out what color that is. 471 is a pale green. 415 is a pale gray. 841 is a light brown. 310, look, it's not a Mandy Manzano. 135, there is your AB. Okay, so you see the shimmer. The shimmer is silver and the color is that like highlighter yellow. And 3772 is your kind of orange brown. Your token colors, because there's a lot less of these. Uh, it is a kind of pale peach. Three seven seven zero. Three. Oh, sorry. Numbers seven three eight, which is a pale cream brown. Eight two three, which is the navy. Five five zero. Oh, there's your purple. There is a 550 in Sparklers if you wanted to get in touch with Timo. Well, you don't need to get in touch with Timo. You could just go to the website dpwithsparklers.com and you can get some 550 sparkler. No, hang on. You, no, you just need the round sparklers um, for the 550 to replace that purple over on the right-hand side tree. H34, which is a funky pale yellow. 318, which is grey. 433, which is a brown. 436, which is a more tan orange. 413 is a dark, dark grey. 327, purple. And again, these are um, the DMC. Tina colours her sparklers using the DMC code, so you will be able to find these quite easily. So your 550 and your 327 are really your go-tos on her page um, do a search for those numbers and your sparklers will come up and see if if they fit or not um, you might not like them you know with the coating that's on them it may change it to silver you know no harm no foul you can check them out uh, 414 which is a dark grey 317 which is another dark grey 3348 which is a pale green 762 which is a very very light grey 437 is Four three seven is a um, orangey kind of color. One six five is a pale yellow. Actually, that looks very similar to one three five. Where are my abs? No, it's not. When you put them next to each other, they're not. Look at the abs! Oh my god, they go with my nails. Oh, that is amazing. One three six. Soak up that gorgeous blue. <laughs> Seriously. Why can't there be more? Oh, it's beautiful. Really, really gorgeous. There is a conversion chart. DAC did actually re um, reveal what they use as the base colors for the sparklers on their group. You'd have to go join their group or be eligible to join their group to find out. Uh, 347 is a cherry-ish red. I'm not sure where that is. 3837 again, some of your token purples. And 3799, which is your, uh, I think it's the beaver grey kind of colour. If you're into the names of the DMCs, which I have not got the brain space to keep. All right. You ready? I'm ready? I'll try and keep it still. My, I've done a thing with my camera, sorry. It's been a little bit funky and its reaction is a little bit slower. Um, and then you've got some of the reds. But oh my god, that AB, the blue, the royal blue is 
to die for. That is gorgeous. Okay, purple's over on the right. Well, there was three in the kit. Uh, we're going here. Oh. Oh. Um, we are looking at potentially the toxic symbol and the three dots three dots is the five five o's absolutely there and where was the other one toxic symbol is three eight three seven that's the last one that i showed you where was the other one it was three two seven is the right arrow so three two seven and five five o are both very similar to each other in position so i think just go for the one accent there if you needed to put some extra ABs in, but oh my god, that blue, wow, that's just like heaven for my eyes. I love blues and that is just gorgeous. It's a, no, I did not say I like sniffing glue. It's got a kind of green tone, blue green tone to it, so it's kind of peacocky. It's just incredible. Okay, now, um, News. If you are a new DAC customer, follow my link. I will get a commission. If you're not a new DAC customer, that's fine. Just follow my link anyway and use whatever discount code you would like. Um, there is a playlist if you want to check out more Diamond Art Club um, paintings that I have unboxed. Or there's another playlist that's non-Diamond Art Club and you can go and have a look at what else I've got in my stash. Um, yeah. Uh, there are two cats in the picture. There's a ginger on the doorstep and there's the black and white at the fence. Um, there's the tire in the tree. There's the gorgeous blues in that bush, which is definitely not going to be that stinky bush that I grew up with. Uh, the purples, I think I would consider putting... I'm looking at the picture. It's, it's kind of above my head. The purples I would definitely consider putting in here. Um, but you've got lots and lots of those yellow ABs right through all of this section here. So um, you, you've got lots of ABs and then you've got that little concentration of those divine blues. Um, but yeah, that might kind of balance the picture a bit um, by putting some 550s over on that side. And then you've got the birdhouse on the tree as well that came out really well. You've got a barrel for the water um, at the back of those bushes. And then you've got a little picket fence. Uh, no eagles in this one. I didn't see any eagles. Um, Chuck off and puts birds in, but I haven't spotted any. And I didn't see it in the big image. Um, and no ghosts in the windows, <laughs> just in case you're listening to too much true crime that's going on out there. Um, it's just a really, really gorgeous painting it's just nice and simple it's got the veranda outside and um very little worn path so nobody must go in and out much it's a little bit idyllic yeah <laughs> all right i'll leave you to it um i will see you around in another video thank you for watching bye for now may the road rise up to meet you may the wind be always at your back May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.